Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how you can do the error handling in script task in SSIS to a SQL Server table. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how to handle the errors and log them to a SQL Server table inside the script task in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So I have seen some SSIS packages, some cases I have seen that uh, uh, there is a script task in the SSIS package and sometimes the script task can fail. Okay. And I have seen some situations as well that there is some code inside the script task and when you run the SSIS package from Visual Studio, then the package run fine. But when you deploy the package to the SSIS catalog, then the same script task starts failing. Okay. So in those kind of scenarios, we should try to handle the errors in the script task and we should try to use the try and catch blocks. So I will show you like how you can handle the errors from your SSIS package from the script task to a SQL Server table. So I have a SQL Server table here that I created to handle the errors and the table name is this one failure logs. So ID is of identity type. So its value will be populated automatically and we can provide the package name because the same table can be used for multiple packages as well. And then the error message from the script task and then the current date timestamp when the package was actually filled. Okay. So now let's configure the SSIS package to handle the errors. So this is my blank SSIS package that I'll be using today. And first of all, let me just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window. And then I can configure the script task here. So I can click on edit script so that the script editor can be opened for me. All right. So the script editor window has been opened up and we need to add our code here. Okay. So I actually written some code that I can use here. Okay. So suppose we have this kind of code. Okay. And now let me just try to add some more code and let me just try to fail this particular script and show you like how it will behave. So uh, maybe I can uh, declare a variable int a and I can assign a value as zero and then I can declare another variable, the final variable, maybe I can call it as final equal to, and I can divide the age by a. Okay. So what actually I'm trying to do that I'm just trying to divide this age 25 value with a zero value. So it will throw a divide by zero error. Okay. So you can have tons of code and that code can fail. So I will show you like how you can add the try and catch block, how you can do the error handling. So first of all, let me just try to execute this code and can show you like how this will behave, like how the package will fail and what error message it will show you. And then I will add the error handling code inside the SSIS package. So now let me execute my SSIS package and show you like how it will work. So if you can see that it throws a very basic, very generic error message. And after looking at the error message, you cannot think of any like the reason why this is failing because the script task does not show the actual error message, you know, in the in this particular message box. Okay. So I need to close this one and I need to add some kind of error handling so that I know like what is the error message. So I can open the script editor again. All right. So the script editor window has been opened up and now we need to put all our code inside the try block. Okay. So I can add the try block here. Okay. So the bracket can be put outside this one so all our code can be put inside the try block okay and now we need to handle the errors inside the catch block so i can write exception ex okay and now here we need to write the handling code like the code to handle the errors okay so i actually written a um, you know a method here which can actually log the errors so i can paste the method outside of the main method so this is the main method so outside of the main method we need to paste our this method here okay so this is missing some namespaces probably writing the data to a sql server table yeah using system.data.sql client okay so the error messages are gone let me close this one as well okay so what actually we are doing here that uh, this is a method and we are passing the error message to this particular method so this is connection string Okay, so here you need to provide your SQL Server instance name. Okay, so my SQL Server instance name is this one, desktop, this one 2019. So that's why I provided the SQL Server instance name here. 
and here you need to provide your database name so my database name is school in this particular scenario okay so that's why i have provided the database name here and i'm using the windows authentication method here and then i'm inserting the data into the failure logs table so this is my failure logs table okay package name so all this information like i'm passing here so my package name right now i provided like test package but maybe i can call the package name like uh, error handling in SSIS okay maybe I can call the package name this one but you can call your package name anything and the error message this will be come from the source you know we need to pass the error message here and then the time will be the current date time date time dot now okay so now we need to call this particular method inside the catch block so I can copy this one and paste it here and then we need to pass the error message and error message can be come from the ex dot message okay semicolon so we have written our code and we just added few lines of code that we use a try block and the catch block here and then in the catch block we are calling a method here okay so i will share this code with you like this method and maybe the whole code and you can see like how you can add this particular code to your ssis package so now i can close this one and we need to actually click on ok so once you click on ok in the script all, then it save the code okay so our code has been saved and now let me execute the SSIS package again and this time when the package will fail it will actually it won't fail actually it will handle the errors and in case if you want to fail the package then you can also fail the package you know inside the catch block so now let me show you uh, like how it handled the errors and like how the error was logged so if I re-execute the select query then you can see that this is the package name message this one attempted to divide by zero and this is the time so, you know so now it is handling the errors now whatever kind of error that can happen inside the try block all the errors will be cached and they will be inserted to the failure log sql server table okay and uh, the package ran fine because uh, uh, you know we did not try to fail it in case if you want to fail the package then you can also fail the package inside the cache block okay so maybe i can show you like in case if the error will occur and if you want to fill the script then like how you can, uh, you know fill the script so let me show you that thing as well all right so the script editor window has been opened up so if you see here we are just setting the task result to success so what we can do we can copy this one and paste it after logging the errors and then instead of script task result to success we can set it to failure okay and now in the next line we need to write return here Okay, so what will happen as soon as it will fail it will return from here okay and it won't move ahead so now you will see that the script task will also be filled when an error will happen but the error message will be logged to a sql server table so let me close this one and click on ok now let me try to rerun the exercise package and this time the script task should fail okay so you can see that the script task got failed but it should have logged the error message to the SQL server because we failed the SSIS package after logging the error you know the error was logged and right after calling the logging error method we failed the SSIS package so I can go back to the SSMS and I can rerun the SQL query and you can see that we got another error message here as well okay so this is how we can do the error handling in SSIS package in the script task and I will share the code to handle the errors from the script task and I will also share the create table statement for the failure log SQL server table. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I put a new video. Thank you so much.